the oscillation button right here. That'll make it turn to the left and to the right. Hey everyone, today we're gonna be going over this Dreo 24 inch portable space heater. If you're interested in this product or you want to find out more about it, you can find a link in the description below. Here's a quick look at all the contents. To the left, we have the Dreo heater. We have the remote right here. We have a thank you card from Dreo for choosing them. We have an invitation to join their community to get some exclusive deals. We have the heater do's and don'ts. And to the right of that, we have the user manual. So here's a quick look at the front. We got the modes button, up and down button. We got the power button. We have the oscillation and the timer right there. We go down to the logo and branding. This side, nice silver and black contrast. Got the handle on the back, vent right here. And then on the other side, same as the other pretty much. Let's take a look at the bottom right here. Looks nice and solid. Got the power cord and the warning label right there. Now let's plug it in and try it out. So the first button we have here is the power button. That'll turn it on. It has three different settings. Right now it's in the eco setting. Now it's in the fan only setting. And now it's in the power heat setting. This is level three, which is 1500 watts. Then we got two, which is 900 watts. And then the first one, which is 700 watts. And now we have the timer button right here. Just click that and then it will go up to 12 hours. You just hit it until you get to the one that you want. And then we also have the oscillation button right here. That'll make it turn to the left and to the right. It's gonna give you a 30 second countdown before turning off. Now here's a quick look at the remote, which has all the same buttons as the control panel with the added benefit of being able to control it remotely. As far as noise goes, Dreo advertises levels as low as 40 decibels and we did our own decibel test with this decibel meter right here. And as you can see, we got 55 was the max noise level, which is pretty much in the ballpark, not too far off.